for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this new trailer that's coming out for the K's and the J's. Many people have been talking about why are the K's and the J's still talking about Kanye? Let me tell you why. Do you remember the first trailer talked about Ray J? Do you remember the first trailer talked about Kanye and Ray J meeting? And then... I'd say two, three months later, Ray J was tired of it and blasted all the Kardashians. He showed the contracts. He showed the text messages. They made it seem as if we talked about you, but it wasn't that bad. Check out the review. So after he saw what was being said about him, he was tired of it. He talked about what was done that day. He talked about who was actually allegedly there. He talked about how many tapes there were. He allegedly talked about who had the original tapes. And if one or two had to be re-recorded because of what was said or done. And they had to choose which one was going to be a better one. They said, allegedly, that if they would have chose another one, it was too raunchy. Hello? Hello? too raunchy to put on vivid i think they had said something about an alleged lawsuit the alleged lawsuit was fake because they signed a contract to make the tape so now we have the first season talking about kanye and we had the first season also talking about tristan and their business deals the family sitting around talking about him and his videos but when you think about all that's gone on in regards to the k's and the j's they went through a divorce. She had actually asked for help for more children. She knew the plot, the plan. This is the biggest thing why, allegedly, allegedly, they're having a difficult time trying to find new men is because the men don't want to be a part of the storyline as they move on. Kanye is now allegedly married in a relationship and now they're talking about him. They're using this platform to drag their exes, period. And people aren't here for it. Then the second season was made up clips and they were trying to make stuff a little bit current and people were catching it. This is the other thing. People were talking about the show is boring. They're talking about stuff that's been done in over a year ago. Courtney's wedding, I'm sure was a beautiful event. But now they're talking about how Kim was trying to use that to make business deals and make it all about her. Why are we surprised? They made her the way that she is. And that's why they're dealing with it now. Because she seeks media attention. She seeks media views. Let's talk about now the new trailer. It's basically saying that Kim is sobbing over Kanye West's lies in regards to the Kardashian trailer. Many people realize that this is just a buffer for people to stop talking about her and her parenting. What am I talking about? She had her 9 or 10 year old daughter trying to act like Ice Spice. Ice Spice is a rapper. Ice Spice material is adult content. Why are you having your daughter sing adult content? Many people called her out for that. Not only that, many people called her out in regards to you're having an adult entertain your daughter and you know the uh, content is adult content so many people called her out they also called her out in regards to trying to make her daughter look like kanye you had the tmz article stating if this doesn't get kanye's attention i don't know what will so allegedly they were trying to get a con kanye's attention and he ignored it what do i mean by that kanye was off getting married 
he was on shutdown for a good three or four weeks. Nobody knew where Kanye was, but I'm sure the K's and the J's did. They knew he was in wedding bliss, honeymoon stage, and just enjoying himself, taking a break from media, while the K's and the J's, after the divorce, Kim decided to do even more TikTok videos. So let's get to this. Also, in regards to, they're saying Scott Disick is saying some really weird stuff in regards to Kim. Scott Disick shares a, I don't want to say that because I don't even know what that is, reaction to Kim Kardashian met presentation. Kim Kardashian teases her look for the Karl Lagerfeld Met Gala. Many people are going to cover it, but they're trying to say that whether she paid to get in, whether people are pulling out from the Met Gala because what happened last year in regards to the Marilyn Monroe dress, the K's and the J's want to make the event all about them. They always are looking to outshine people and many people aren't here for it. So what used to be a great event about everybody and everybody's fashion, the K's and the J's want to seem like it's all about them. So who will attend? I don't know. Most years it was been Kim, Kendall, sometimes Kylie, and then it became that it was about Kim, Kendall, Kylie, Courtney, but then Courtney didn't even want to, you know, do right. Courtney